So let's create the album entity. So again, right click entities, add class and call it album. And since the class was now created, when we go to bands, you can see that we no longer have an error here. So let's create the properties for album. The first one, of course, is going to be an ID and it can be a GUID as well. So it's going to be GUID and I'll call it ID. Each album needs a title, so that can be our next property. So that's going to be a string. And we can have a description of the album as well. So it's going to be another string. So these are the three main properties for the album. But each album also needs a band that the album belongs to. Just like in bands, we have all the albums for the band. In album, we will have the band for the album. So we'll have a property of type band. And we can call it band. And additionally, I'm going to also use the band ID here as a foreign key. Remember, we need to establish a relationship between each album and the band. So I'll have a property of type GUID and this is going to be the band ID. So these are our two entities for the band and for album. And next we can use some attributes for the properties to, for example, limit the length of the title or the description and also establish the foreign key in the album in order to establish the relationship between band and the album. So let's do that next.